So, are you going to say it? minutes? Twenty. My taxi's on the way. I'm going to enjoy one last look out the window as Wales passes me by. I keep saying it, Saf. It's, it's for the best. It couldn't be any worse. I've got nothing. Mum's gone. I managed to survive care. And this could be my only chance. But all that could change if you just said it. It's a lot to handle. I mean, I mean, I'm only. It's like pressure. Pressure. Try a taxi, three trains, two aeroplanes, buses driven by psychopaths, the worst roads in the world, a country I've never seen, a dad I hardly know. Honestly, it's just self, self, self. What? I, I, I was just looking. I just thought if, if this was really, really the last time I was ever going to see you, my brain just sort of freezes up. Oh. And how is that any different from the way you usually are? I'm gonna miss this. It doesn't have to be like this, girl. I mean, it's up to you, but it could be like we said. You just have to say it. No, clean break, no harm done. Just a bit of a lark. A bit of innocent teenage fun before we get serious. I'm scared. But you've got nothing to worry about, Saf. Aeroplanes almost never crash. There's only a tiny possibility of you hurtling towards the ground in a flaming tube of metal and your body torn to pieces by the forces. I'm scared. I'm scared that I'll never feel like this again. Well, it's probably for the best. I'm a bit of an idiot. 
But, but that's why we're so good together. Because you make me feel less like an idiot. And you make me feel less like somebody who doesn't belong. Oh, and you, you'd belong anywhere, Saf. And anyway, it's better than staying here. Getting a job on the checkout. Or, or going down the Legion every Saturday night. Or having three kids by the time you're 25. I can think of worse things. Just say it. Let me help you with those. Thanks, I'll, uh, I'll just be a minute. Okay. So, text me when you get there. Yeah, I'll do that. Thank you. 